emotion that that one went, went through and, and the, uh, the psychological damage. And, but we're here to actually talk to Mark Ainsworth Smith about uh, carbon monoxide, which is a byproduct of fires. Normally, in the old days, you used to just put people in the ambulance and send them off to the hospital. Yeah. But now you come up with this mobile kit. Why, why is that? Yeah, we've got a new piece of equipment that very accurately measures carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is a lethal gas. It's known as the silent killer. And we have a very, very effective way of monitoring at scene so we can decide exactly how urgently people need to be treated or indeed whether they need to go to hospital at all. Oh, I see. So we're basically trying to take the pressure off the hospitals. If you do this test, you can say you're all right to go home. Yeah, a significant number of our house fires, we have more than one, pa one patient involved in that, sometimes 20 or even 30. Uh, and by doing this, we can actually screen those patients at the scene and sometimes they really don't need to go to hospital at all. Okay, well look, we'll, I'm going to have a go at this. I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to test it. I mean, uh, just, just to show you how it works. With the, if I'd come out of a fire, yeah. you would say? Okay, so what we have here is a, a clever bit of kit that basically um, I, I'm going to need you to hold your breath in, for about 15 seconds. Right. And then when it gets to naught, I want you to blow slowly and gently into it. Mm -hmm. And um, we should get a very accurate reading of your carbon monoxide. All right, levels. you said it going. And in the 15 seconds, I'll ask you a question. In the countdown, I'll ask you a question. There we go. So I need you to try and hold your breath. Um, all right. Some patients struggle to hold their breath for 15 seconds, so we can change that for the most accurate setting. You can also get this uh, carbon monoxide poisoning from boilers in houses, uh, but you say silent killer. So what are the things that you should be looking out for that are signs that you might be damaged? Okay, so the other things that you might notice is a lot of patients with carbon monoxide poisoning complain of a headache, about 90% of those do. Uh, sometimes they present with fatigue, lethargy, uh, and there are other, that's, that should be fine actually, yep. um, there are other conditions, they sometimes complain of really severe symptoms such as chest pain and even have fit. Now, obviously this stuff, well, there we go, here's the details, I don't know whether you can see this. Okay, so what we show here is that you've blown 1.7% carboxyhemoglobin, that sounds really complicated, but basically what that says is that if you've just been pulled from a house fire, we would actually be safely able to discharge you at scene. Anybody